grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers and thank you so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel today. I hope your day is off to a great start. Uh, this is my brief daily message of hope and inspiration and joy. And I hope that uh, I bring some of that to you today. And if if I, if I can't do it, then I hope you can bring some of it to me because we all need to lift each other up and support each other. Uh, we're still in uh, uh, unexplored waters uh, as a nation and as a world. And, uh, and that caused me to think this morning uh, about how we respond in unexpected situations uh, because uh, it indicates how our spiritual lives are and how our faith is by how we respond. I was thinking about a great scene in the 1995 movie, uh, Apollo 13, where Tom Hanks was uh, one of the Apollo 13 astronauts, Captain Jim Lovell, uh, the commander of the Apollo 13 mission, uh, which took place in 1970. Uh, it was the, the third attempted lunar landing uh, for the United States. And uh, this is the one that was made into a movie that we all saw in 1995. Ron Howard directed it had some great acting in it and uh, won multiple awards. But there's a great scene in the movie. But if you don't remember the Apollo 13, uh, it was a, uh, the day it took off, about 56 hours after it uh, left Earth's uh, orbit and was on its way to the moon for its uh, landing. Uh, it was 220,000 miles away from Earth, uh, almost uh, all the way to the moon, when uh, an oxygen tank in the command module exploded and caused a crisis of unexpected, unprecedented uh, levels for the, uh, NASA. And uh, it, was, uh, uh, it was a precarious situation. We'd never encountered that before in the lives of the three astronauts, uh, Lovell, Hayes, and Swigert, uh, were in great jeopardy. And they were losing their oxygen fast, their power was dwindling, and they somehow had to get uh, around the moon and back home. But the scene that was a great scene, and it was uh, back on Earth uh, in the NASA, uh, NASA Command Center, uh, two of the flight, two of the directors of NASA were talking to each other in the presence uh, of Gene Kranz, the flight director, who was being played by the great actor Ed Harris. And one of the directors said to the other, said, oh my gosh, this is going to be the greatest disaster uh, in the history of NASA. And at that point, uh, uh, Gene Kranz turned to him and said, uh, on the contrary, gentlemen, I believe this will be our finest hour. Two ways to respond. Unexpected, catastrophic events. To uh, either respond uh, in a very negative way and take it to the, the worst possible negative conclusion, like one of the flight directors was doing, one of the NASA, NASA directors saying, this is going to be an unprecedented disaster, catastrophe for the space program. And yet the flight director himself, Gene Kranz, uh, played by Ed Harris, said, on the contrary, gentlemen, I believe this will be our finest hour. How do we respond? Do we respond uh, in an extremely negative way or do we let our faith direct us? And that's the point I want to make today. I believe our faith directs our response. Uh, is this coronavirus a, a, a horrible disaster that uh, keeps us cowering in our houses, which we really need to do for a while? Or is it a great opportunity for brilliance among us? Well, Gene Kranz and the Apollo 13 mission thought it would be an opportunity for brilliance. Never before had the space program had to respond that way, and it did with brilliance, reinventing everything. You know, piecing together things with bailing wire and duct tape and uh, round pegs going into square holes. And it was our finest hour. What about today? Is this uh, an opportunity for us to, to just be depressed and to remain uh, bogged down thinking that uh, there's nothing we can do? Or are we going to look up to God and realize he's in charge and has given us an opportunity for greatness in the midst of this. And remember, greatness for God in his sight is when we serve and love and have compassion on each other. It's not in putting a spacecraft back together, although it might be, but primarily it's when we help put lives back together and spiritual lives back together. That's where we're truly great. 
Uh, that's when we rely on our faith. And for me, my faith always takes me back to the psalm I was reading this morning in one of the early morning uh, daily offices, uh, Psalm 42. Um, there's, it, twice in that uh, psalm and once in Psalm 43, the same little refrain is repeated. And I hope you memorize this because I did when I was little and it helps me all the time. Here's how it goes. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. God is with you. The Lord is with you. He loves you. And no matter what you go through, he's there with you. He promised he would be. He's been with you every day of this uh, quarantine. And just like he was with you every day up until the quarantine. And after it's over, he'll still be with you every day. And so every moment that we have, every, everything that happens to us, expected or unexpected, is an opportunity to respond in one way or the other, uh, out of fear or out of faith. Respond in faith. God is still in charge and he loves you. And there's no need for our souls to be heavy and our spirits to be disquieted because the Lord is with us. Hope you have a great day today. God bless you.